you know you have to be making some serious waves when Marvel Studios and DC Comics both come crawling, or knocking, either one. As the directors of Bad Boys for Life have confirmed that both studios have talked to them about numerous projects. So we've already talked about it a little bit, the directors of Bad Boys for Life, oh here it comes, you know it, Adil El Arbi and his partner Bilal Falah, you just, just roll the clip. I botched that one, oh that's a botched job. Recently came out and said, we feel like the luckiest fanboys in the world. And they were directly responding to a question about the opportunities that they've had come their way since releasing Bad Boys for Life. And they specifically talk about the fact that they have met with Marvel Studios and with Warner Brothers AT&T to discuss DC Comics properties. Now we've already discussed it on here earlier, the fact that they said that they were particularly looking at characters like Blade or Deadpool for a possibility and something that's in their wheelhouse. Now when it comes to DC Comics, honestly I could see multiple projects for them. To me personally, I think Green Lantern and or maybe something as part of Justice League Dark would be right up their alley. Or maybe they could pitch something completely unique that none of us are expecting and make that a reality. Again, this is something that has happened plenty of times. I mean, James Gunn, for example, with the likes of Guardians of the Galaxy. So who really knows? But the fact that they're saying that they're meeting with both, that they've taken meetings, and that they're big fans of both, specifically Marvel, and that they're kind of looking at it and looking at all the possibilities, makes me really excited. And they even add a little bit about how when they were younger, they would read Spider-Man and how much they would love to do something like that and with that character. So again, I think there's a lot of possibility and hints here. And my realistic hope is that Marvel Studios proper or DC can get them for a high budget film before somebody like Sony scoops them up for like... Sony developing? Night Trash? Night, night, night Gauge? God whatever spawn ripoff they were developing right uh, like my hope is uh, let's let one of the good studios get them you know the two good ones and not sony anyways what would you guys want to see from them uh, i'm still sticking with blade and green lantern if they can get attached to anything i want to see them on those projects <laughs>